Today we are having a look at the inside of the spire of the Empire State Building, but first, a little context. Built in 1931, the Empire State Building is home to 102 stories of New York history. From the ground of Fifth Avenue to the tip of the antenna, the structure measures 1,454 feet in total. 73 elevators and 1,872 steps allow visitors to travel up the skyscraper and visit the observation deck on the top floor. And until the construction of the World Trade Center in 1970, the Empire State Building was the tallest building in the world. The lobby of the Empire State Building pays tributes to mediums or industries used in construction, electricity, masonry, and heating. The marble walls of the lobby contain motifs reflecting these said industries. Let's move to the top of the building, where there is an observation deck that many people are familiar with. In fact, this was one of the first skyscrapers ever to offer such a grand viewing area to the public. But above that deck are two other, less known observatories on the 80th and 86th floors. Different ticket prices allow different levels of access to these rooms. The 80th floor observatory, which is the newest of the three, opened in 2019. In addition to city views, the space also showcases art, including the famous Skyline Mural. On the 86th floor, visitors can view the New York City skyline indoors or outdoors. And while the 86th floor observatory is accessible, the same cannot be said about the 102nd floor observatory. You see, the top floor was closed for about a decade, from the 1990s up to 2005. The reasons for this are vague, but the October 12th edition of the Citizen's Voice cites, quote, limited capacity and long lines, rather than specific construction or safety hazards. 14 years after reopening, the 102nd floor was expanded, extending the windows and allowing more room for visitors. This room is the highest point accessible to the general public at an impressive, awe-inspiring 1,250 feet. Now, above the 102nd floor is the so-called secret deck, which leads you to the spire, a hollow structure that holds broadcasting equipment. Since it's not open to the public, the 103rd floor does not have the same safety protections available as other spaces. There is just a mere ledge compared to the wholly enclosed casing of the 102nd floor. And with that in mind, the 103rd floor visitors have mostly been celebrities, notably musician Taylor Swift, who visited in 2014. Inside the 103rd floor is a narrow elevator passing through the electrical circuits of the skyscraper. Getting to the very top of the private deck requires ascending a little steel ladder to the exclusive area. Now there is one stairwell that is painted in bright yellow and surrounded by blue walls, and this requires passengers to duck around large copper-colored tubes to reach their destination. Around the spire, on the top of the Empire State Building, are various broadcast stations. In fact, since the year of its opening in 1931, significant stations such as NBC or RCA have transmitted television broadcast from this skyscraper. Today, the Empire State Building continues to broadcast both television and FM radio, as well as weather radio stations. And that is what's inside the spire of the Empire State Building. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, I'm Ryan Sokash, signing off.